So here we go, part two, resistance exhibition. Uh, it's climate justice section, kind of after a big wave of the anti-war protest. Uh, a lot of the movement got into climate justice, uh, climate camps, things like that, and always been part of what we were talking about, but it became much more main theme, particularly with the climate camps. This is one of the first ones, uh, Heathrow uh, camp there. These are all pictures of uh, climate scientists, I think, and pictures of people affected by climate. Um, they use these book shields, that's another tactic. You can make these shields, padded shields, that actually stop the police truncheoning you and can sometimes take space by pushing the police back. Um, so over here we got, this is a spontaneous pro protest at a flood in Oxford in 2007. People just came out and they realised that it's affecting here in Britain as well as, you know, climate refugees and climate uh, extreme weather is affecting people massively all over the world and we only see a bit of it, we're being told about. At the moment there's floods in China, there's floods in India, uh, there's droughts in Australia, there's droughts in California. It's, it's massive, and you know, a place like Oxford getting flooded kind of comes home to wake people up more here that we all need to change our lifestyles and our energy use and what we're doing. So that was a climate camp, site is taken late at night, camp for climate action Heathrow. Uh, these are big new tripod thing where you put a third one on top of the three at the bottom, amazing. This is the G20 camp for climate action 2009 Bishopsgate. Um, so along here various posters, this was COP21 Paris, most recent uh, climate summit. Try to get an agreement to limit it to 1.5 degrees of warming, but it's actually going to go over two and three. We get extreme ecological disaster. Uh, reclaim the power posters. This was another one from Paris. We have the solutions, which is a bit on the end of this about solutions exhibition. Uh, climate camps. This was reclaim the power. So this exhibition spans from reclaim the streets to reclaim the power. Uh, so we come around here. There's Basically, what have we got? So uh, this was again Bishopsgate 2009. Nature doesn't do bailouts. They just bailed out all the banks, and we're still destroying the environment. Uh, climate camps, various different places. Blackheath, uh, Ratcliffe on Saw, the um, Great Climate Sweep. This was uh, some people blocking the no new runway in uh, uh, Heathrow. Um, back up here, this is an uh, open cast coal mine that the locals asked us to get involved with a protest. And, Reclaim the power went and a bit similar to the old days of Twyford Down, lots of people going in and jumping and climbing on diggers and the big machinery or the Botley Quarry action years before on uh, massive quarry. Uh, the war bikes that were created at Copenhagen, they welded together two bikes with a platform in the middle so that people could stand there like a chariot and the theory was they could be moved to move the police back and move through, create barricades or mobile stuff. It's a bike swarm tactic as well. So onto more later wave really is uh, fracking. Uh, maybe we'll just cover here. Indie Media was really the forerunner of Facebook and it's a pity now that we've Facebook killed a lot of alternative media. Um, but this be the media, creating people's own news, fanzines, uh, things like Schnooze was a news sheet, used to come out every week with updates of actions all over Britain, all over the world. Um, you know, the days of the free festival, everything was run for these things called Free Information Network, a FIN. That was just an A4 sheet that people put down gigs and parties and events and actions and protests on an A4 sheet, photocopied it loads and gave it out to all the mates. And there was ones like Guildford FIN and Sheffield FIN and Brighton FIN and London. And they would all share info. And that's how people found out about the free festivals. It was like Beltane, Beltane Free Festival, a Twyford Down on a fin that got me to go to Twyford Downs, start this whole activist adventure, me personally. Uh, indie media, undercurrents, training people to make their own videos, represent their own views and put it out there. This is copy of Schnooze. So on round to the latest wave from climate action, we go on to fracking, very current now. Uh, I think the government's granted some license for exploration or fracking up to 144 sites around Britain. To basically explain, they stick a big hydraulic rig, drill down a couple of kilometers into the earth, and then they pump down a load of chemicals to flush out the last of the kind of shale gas, so they can collect it for uh, energy. But it's a very expensive way of doing it, and also it pollutes the water table and poisons water for miles and miles around. Um, so 
look it up, there's a lot more information about it online. This is Balcom, one of the first big after Occupy main wave. There was a Balcom anti fracking camp, massive march. Locals, I think Surrey or Sussex, very big march against it. Most recently, Black, uh, Blackpool um, replaying the power camp, but most recently, people have been up in uh, Preston and Blackpool Way. There's uh, protest camps there about fracking. There's about four or five active fracking camps now, Kirby, uh, Billingshurst coming up and a few others. Uh, so just round to the last section here really was on the diversity one. This was the student protest after we occupied Parliament Square. It was a uh, big student protest about them cutting uh, cutting their education maintenance allowance and also uh, charging people £9,000 when university used to be, you know, grants and freer. So this is book block, using books to push back. Students got very angry, set on fire to a bench there. This was a, uh, I find the look on the policeman's faces here is very, it says a lot, you know, they've been totally graffitied their van, they don't know whether to cry, laugh, or they've got to report it to the boss or whatever it is. Uh, round here, a bit more on the diversity section, so we've got LGBT rights and protest, you know, people have been fighting for LGBT rights for a long, long time, we're starting to get a bit more progressive in this country, but there's a long way to go in the rest of the world. Um, here we've got a women's protest section. So this is suffragettes, modern suffragettes action. Lobby of Parliament, UK feminista. Uh, love, sex, hate, sexism. I like this one, the future is female. Um, this is a famous woman's photographer called Jenny Matthews. This one is a powerful one. This little girl would assign a woman's place in the home and the classroom and the boardroom and the newsroom and Parliament. Good on him. Uh, put feminism at the heart of politics, UK feminist. Uh, this is Jenny Matthews on Green and Common Women's Peace Camp. Getting uh, out of there. So that's most of the main section of what we've done. This is a suffragette back in the day doing jujitsu on a policeman or somebody performing as a policeman, I think. Suffragettes get really badly beaten up by the police, you know, and uh, so one woman came back and taught them all jujitsu and. Uh, start to deal with it a bit better okay so that's about the end we'll do another little one on solutions but uh, here we go nearly actually the end here is occupy it was a bit before for on from climate went into a big occupy movement copenhagen climate summit called for people's assemblies to happen all over the world we occupy parliament square lots of networking for people's assemblies all over the world zapatista groups and indigenous groups and kind of manifesting Occupy, Occupy Wall Street, uh, massive movement all over the world and I remember on the first day when we were there on St Paul's Steps I saw a BBC journalist broadcasting the camera and he said um, today there are over 900 cities occupied with direct democracy debates going on and to me to be involved for Reclaim the Streets days we could scarcely have dreamed then that 900 cities would be occupying, taking over public space reclaiming it for the cars and discussing the better future that they wanted to see. So, you know, look at amazing pictures here of St Paul's. This is the first night, I think, you can see in the background the police got it surrounded. We are the 99% of the theme that came over from America, the 1% taking everything from the 99% not getting enough. This is the Occupy Bank of Ideas. We squatted a UBS bank and turned it into a like, seven floor, 500 workshops in about four months. It's quite an incredible thing to be part of. Um, again, you know, a few pictures there kind of thing. Occupy movement was very successful in a lot of ways to go global, 900 cities. It also had its problems, it got heavily infiltrated, heavily divided and uh, it really worried the authorities and they clamped down very heavily, particularly in America with CS gas and battering people and, and they definitely had their dirty tricks department trying to divide people. But the seeds were created of a massive global web of resistance and, people working on projects for a better future. So um, hopefully this gives you a little bit of the history of some of the movement over the last 25, 30 years. Uh, and you see how it moves from the road protest right round into kind of Occupy and into anti-fracking from Reclaim the Streets round into Reclaim the Power. Uh, wherever you are, you've got to take action, do something for a better future, take action, create sustainable projects. We're creating a solutions exhibition on this as well. but. That's about it. There's more stuff online. If you want to contact us, get in touch with historyofresistance at gmail.com and we'll have a website up soon. But organise wherever you are, network wherever you are, take action every day. One love, keep networking. Be the resistance. Mm -hmm. yeah.